Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com. In the previous video, we looked at me CNC routering this an Absolid Corian. And in today's video, we'll take a look at the same thing, but done with a laser. When it comes to Corian, one of the advantages of using a laser over a router is that the surface is actually incredibly rough. So that means there's more surface for the paint to adhere to. While when you're doing it with a router, it's actually pretty smooth and somewhat sanded uh, just because the bit is going over it at a constant height. While with the laser, it's actually a beam of light just going like this all over the surface. So that's why you got more surface area. The other advantage to a laser is that you have very, very fine detail. Um, on this here, if I wanted a thousand DPI, something microscopic, I could totally do it and paint fill it if I wanted to and you'd actually be able to see it. While with a router, you're limited by the size of your bit. Uh, for this here, I use a 1 8 straight double flute bit and a V-carve bit at 60 degrees. And on this one here, I can possibly do this with a 60 degree bit, just going slightly into it. But I would not have the straight in angle that I achieve with the laser because the laser does not use a round bit going into the material. The other advantage to a laser is that there is no surface contact. It's just a beam of light hitting it, vaporizing it, and hitting the next spot, and the next spot, and the next spot. So there's nothing pushing or pulling it. This is why when I did this, I did this bit with the router first, because there is some pushing and pulling. And afterwards, I cut it out. And I don't need all that excess material to hold it down. I don't need any hold down with the laser. So I was able to do this. Now what we're going to do is take a look at a video of this being laser engraved. As you saw, the difference between laser work and your router work is night and day. With the laser, we're going back and forth over and over again on the material. I went tw uh, twice depth-wise just to have enough depth for the paint filling. I could do it in one pass, I could do it in 10 passes. So the depth with the laser is maybe roughly one millimeter per pass, depending on the power settings. I could do more, but what you do is actually start to show the material inconsistencies regarding the density of the Corian. So yeah, I could go in maybe three or four mil, but then you end up with a bunch of like little pyramids and stuff, which, you know, that, that's just the different material compositions that make up Corian. While with a router, you don't have that issue, you're just going straight over it and removing the material because you have that two-way feedback for the Z-depth. Paint filling, you can paint fill a router job just as easy as a laser job. Uh, there's no real difference other than the smoothness. Um, so that's really a preference on yourself. They're both sealed. But if you want to, let's say, a profile, profile is better done with a router, while fine detail is better done with a laser. So what we do at cncri.com is you give us the project files, and we use something, we use technology that optimizes the results to your needs. So we could easily have this as a profile, which looks really, really cool. And then what we'll do is do the paint filling here with the laser. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll do a lot more Corian in the future.